In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to create an, uh, an animation effect uh, using uh, just CSS uh, with this uh, grid items. You may have seen this before on people's portfolio websites, uh, maybe a photo gallery website. So when you mouse over an image, it kind of zooms in and has an interesting effect. And all of this can be done easily with just CSS3, no JavaScript, uh, nothing fancy like that. So this is where we're going to be going after. So we'll start off with some uh, basic HTML. What we have here is a div container, which includes our grid and each of our items, which is just a div with an image inside of it. So I'm just using placeholder images here, but you can use any images in here that you like. And in terms of our CSS here, we have our box reset, which I'll include a link to here that you can learn about inheriting the box sizing. This really helps out with things like padding and um, uh, borders and things and you know aligning things just right so definitely include this in your uh, sample and so and also I'm including this version here the image so uh, making sure that the images are 100% of the container so that when you resize this they retain they resize along with it so you know stay responsive uh, and here's our grid container which I'm doing using display flex making all the items into flex box items I'm using wrap so that they would stack on on, uh, on, to the next row and I'm giving it a max width of 680 pixels I'm centering it as well each of the items ha are with 33% uh, 33.33 so that way um, it's uh, divided into three and I'm also giving it a border uh, just so you could see when we do the hover state uh, the effect that we're going to be going after and so border seems to work really well for that effect so what we need to do is add just a, a few lines of code here to make this uh, into this version so let's go ahead and do that now so we're going to hit return a few times just kind of move this up a bit here so the first thing we want to do is target the image tag and and what we want to do is apply a transition to it. And so this is going to create that animation effect that we're going after. So I'm going to do all, all properties, even apply easing to it, and just do 0.5 seconds. So essentially, this will do any changes to the image it'll, that are applicable. It will apply a transition to it. So what we want to do is now target that item. And in the hover state, we want to target the image inside the item, and we want to change a few things. So the first thing we want to change is the transform. So transform here, we want to change that to uh, scale, and you want this to get larger. So if we look at this now, we see that it kind of overflows the item that it's in, the image overflows it. So that's why I uh, include this border here, which will allow us to include overflow hidden, which now prevents it from overflowing. So if I change this number instead of 1.1 to let's say 1.5, you can see it's much more pronounced. So you see a visible transition here. So we're getting pretty close to this. So there's also a color inversion here. So let's go ahead and do that as well. And we're gonna go ahead and use a filter for that. So we will need to use a, a browser prefix. I'm using Chrome right now. So we're just going to use WebKit. And we're gonna include filter, invert, and we'll do 0.8. So if we look at this now, you'll see that it inverts as well. And that's it.